Welcome to Lady Boss Unplugged. This is Molly Richards, your host, and welcome to today's five minute fix. I am so happy you are here. I love hanging out with you, and I'm so grateful that we get to spend time together. I'm thankful for your reviews and that you share our podcast with your friends and on social media. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You're going to love today's episode because if you're like me, you get in a funk from time to time. You know those moods where you're just like, you have low energy, you feel a little bit frustrated, you feel a little bit down, you're just not yourself. I call that being in a funk. And I'm not talking being funky, that's a whole other thing. This is being in a funk where you just are feeling blah, right? You're just not feeling quite right. So I wanna give you some of my top tips, things that I actually do to get myself out of a funk, and I hope that they help you as well. So. The first thing I do is I just take a couple deep breaths. I'm like, and I tell myself, I got this. Okay. And I'm going to get out of this. Like I make the decision to get out of it and I just inhale and exhale. I'm like, okay, let's go. Like enough's enough. This is not fair to me. This isn't fair to the people around me. I got to get out of this funk. Number two is I play a really good song or a really fun defunct playlist. I call it getting out of my funk playlist where I'm just like, let's go. It usually is like a little bit Justin Timberlake, maybe maybe some sort of gangster rap. Yeah. I love that sometimes, but something that's high energy where it's like at the end of the song, I can't help but smile and just feel better. Number three is I welcome some distractions, which would be like picking up a book and reading it for like 30 minutes or learning something new or reading good news, not just the news. That's stressful. That'll keep you in a funk, but reading good news, maybe watching something funny. That's just going to take you out of your head and just be in a better place. Number four is do something for someone else. Make someone's day, make someone cookies, bring them flowers, send them some money, send snail mail, give a really fun voice memo. Um, do something just outside of yourself again, where you're like, I'm going to make someone else smile. And guess what that's going to do to you? Make you smile. So try this. It's amazing. Another thing I love is to use online resources like an online meditation or watch a YouTube video or watch a motivational video where I'm like, oh, okay, I got this. Like my belief in myself comes back. I feel mentally strong and all of that. And we can get that all online. And it's usually free, which is amazing. Number six is to do something creative. And this is not about being perfect. This is about having fun. So whether this is like playing a musical instrument or drawing or um, painting or scrapbooking or dancing or cooking or journaling or anything like that, anything that is creative will help you get out of a funk for sure. Number seven is to get outside. Oh my gosh, fresh air can turn a funky mood into a better mood. It can make you from feeling grumpy to feeling happy for sure. Another thing I love to do is just, you don't have to do this outside, but I love to play pickleball. And that puts me from being in a funk to being in a fun mood. So we take the K out when we play pickleball or tennis or something like that. But when you're getting outside, you're just feeling good because you're moving your body. So moving your body definitely will get you out of a funk. Number eight is just being with, being okay with feeling kind of in a funk, right? Just being like, okay, what's going on? Why am I feeling this way? And just really getting in tune and in touch with your feelings and then working through those so that you can be better in a few minutes or the next day. But being okay with it and recognizing your feelings and your thoughts and all of that is a really good thing to do. Number nine is to focus on you, like what you need, maybe what you're lacking, maybe like what you're missing or why your cup is half empty. And maybe you haven't been doing the things uh, that day or that week that are filling your cup. Maybe you're not working out every day, fueling your body with good food. Maybe you're not, you know, saying those positive affirmations or mantras or, you know, praying or spending time with people that uplift you or doing things that just really stimulate you, your mind, your body, your soul, and just bringing joy to you. And number 10 is really tuning into that, tuning into what you need and saying like, what is missing and how can I then make those happen in my life? So if they're missing, how can I bring them back? If it's something I need, how can I go and get it? So 
putting that into action, not just wishing for it, but being like, okay, now I'm going to go and make sure it happens. So making your happiness a number one priority is so important. So I want to encourage you to make decisions based on what's going to bring you joy so that you are not in a funk for very long. I don't want you to be in a funk for a long time. That life's too short. So I hope that you will use one or all of these 10 tips next time you are in a funk because like I said, don't stay there long. Life's too short and you deserve to be happy and joyful and playful and energized and all of that good stuff. So that is your five minute fix today. I hope that it helps you. And I hope that you share this with a friend because you never know who is in a funk today. All right, I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks so much for joining me.